Hello parents. I hope that everyone is doing well and having a good day. Um, I just wanted to jump on here real quick, really just to show you uh, a resource that, uh, that I have, um, that I'm aware of that I think is, is helpful. And, uh, and I want to basically just pass it along to you. Um, it's mostly free. I mean, and by mostly free, I mean, there are things that you could pay for, but the rest of it is free. Uh, and there's some very valuable things that I think are on there that are free. So I want to point you to that. Um, I wanted to just record a video that I could put out and you could see just whenever. Uh, I know that Zoom schedules can be overwhelming and and, and uh, everybody's Zoomed out. So trying to coordinate that. Um, I just wanted to put a quick video out. You can check it out when you want to. I uh, don't have to worry about uh, a certain schedule. Uh, and I'm also playing with some some software that we're looking at and testing for um, for our live stream services for Sunday mornings. And so that's why you'll see that watermark right there um, just trying this software out before we figure out what we're doing uh, so i wanted to play with it because i like playing with new things and uh but i also really wanted to share this with you um, but just want to encourage you as parents uh, of teens uh, as you're going through this time uh, i hope that things are going well and that you feel like you've gotten into a groove with your with your family um, not driving each other uh, too crazy i know increased time with with uh, kids you there's um, we're going to, this Sunday, we're actually starting a new series with the youth group and it's, it's called atypical and it's about family. Um, we, we had another one scheduled, um, but because this one was about family and we're significantly increasing our time with family, I wanted to, uh, to bump this one up. So email will be coming out, uh, with all that information tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but anyway, I just want to encourage you, hope that, hope that things are going well, uh, and that, um, you're finding a groove with your, with your family, um, I'm praying for you as you, as you, um, as you go through this and as you figure it out, um, really it's, it's also my hope that, um, as we have this increased time together, that conversation time has increased and the, um, the richness of conversation has maybe increased and we're, we're, we're having some good conversations. And it's on that note that I want to show you this resource, um, that we have available that you have available to you. Um, and so, uh, it's a, it's a website, it's called the And I'm just going to share my, uh, screen there. There we go. Um, so if you go to the parent um, you will come across this. You'll see what I'm seeing here. Uh, the parent Q is, uh, from orange. So orange is, uh, an organization that is really focused on combining the home and the church in order to come together to disciple our kids and our teens. Uh, Orange is the philosophy that Mara and I use in, in all that we do in the kids and teens ministry. Uh, we use some different tools in order to accomplish that philosophy, but that's really the overarching kind of philosophy that we that we adhere to, this idea that we it's the church and it's the home coming together in order to disciple our kids and our teens. And they've developed this resource, the parentq.org. Uh, it's a website where you can go to, again, most of this is free. There are some things I think that you can you can pay for, the, a store, some books and things like that. But uh, I think some of the meat of this that is really good is free. So when you go to the parentq.org, you're going to see a bunch of different things that are available. Um, some conversation guides, some rhythms, creating rhythms. You can sign up for their weekly email updates. Um, but the, the main thing that I want to point you to is uh, under resources. And these are, they have a series of conversation guides that I think are, are pretty awesome. Uh, so you'll see that they have uh, anxiety conversation guides. They have faith conversation guides, crisis conversation guides, uh, some other things there. But there's all kinds of conversation guides, sexual integrity conversation guides. And, uh, and so within each one of those, um, there are several different things. There's lots of different questions based on ages and phases. And so um, phases, I'm going to click over to one. I already downloaded one. You do have to put in your name and your email address um, in order to download these, but that's okay. I went ahead and did that and downloaded one of these. Um, a quick side note on phases. You'll see that the lingo through here a lot. Um, that's something that you'll probably start to hear Mar and I use uh, more as well. Uh, as we talk about different age groups and through phases and certain phases uh, lend themselves well to certain aspects of discipleship. And so we want to take advantage of that. Uh, we'll actually, hopefully we, we have one planned tentatively with, according to how things go, uh, a parent kind of seminar where we introduce this, this 
idea of phases and what that looks like. So uh, just a little plug there. Hopefully that will still happen at some point, but um, who knows with, with things. Um, but anyway, this is what, this is the faith conversation guide. And I just want to show you this. You'll see uh, if you're parent of preschooler, there's some different questions and uh, conversation starters. Um, and so if you keep scrolling down, there's one of these for each age group, preschool, elementary, middle school. And uh, this takes a few seconds to scroll because of connectivity. <laughs> um, but as we go, there we go. For a faith conversation guide for parents of middle schoolers later on down in the, in the PDF, you'll see for high schoolers. Um, but it breaks it out by grade six, seventh, eighth graders. There's questions that you can ask to start conversations, um, trying to provoke discovery. So they will own their faith and value a faith community. Um, again, I think just really valuable tools for, uh, for, for conversation starters, um, for different areas. These are free to download. You can go get as many of them as you want. Uh, and you can, you can read over them and get ideas. Uh, and I think that they are extremely valuable. But again, I just wanted to uh, point that out to you. Um, be real quick. Um, I, I would encourage you to take advantage of those um, as you're as you're at home with your with your kids and your teens more. Um, I pray that that would be a time where conversation happens and good conversation happens. So I hope that you'll take advantage of that. At least download a couple, just kind of scroll through and see what is there. Um, and so uh, the other thing that I just wanted to do is just remind you uh, of the different gatherings that we offer uh, for, for teens during this time where we can't be together. Uh, we have a, uh, we do have youth group on Sundays, six o'clock uh, on Zoom. And then right after that, we break off into our small groups on Zoom. And, uh, and then Wednesdays, one o'clock, we have middle school meetup and four o'clock, we have high school hangout. Uh, those are just, you know, 15 to 20 minutes, just midweek check in how you doing a little study break uh, maybe play a game or two but then leaving with an encouraging thought or a scripture to challenge them through the rest of the week and so uh, i would encourage them to, to jump on there uh, and then on thursdays we have our senior bible study one o'clock you can access all of those links to all of those zoom meetings at respondsm.com just right at the very top you'll see them and uh, and, and get connected to those zoom meetings uh, so I'd encourage you to encourage your teens to jump on those things and stay connected through this time. Uh, that's all I got. I just, again, just want to encourage you and pass that along. Hopefully you find that helpful. And, uh, excuse me, um, I just want to also say if there's anything that I can do uh, as a youth pastor, um, if, you, if you're if you looking for resources of other things for your, for your teens, for your families, or if they're needing something that I'm missing uh, through this time, then please let me know. Reach out to me. And uh, I'd be glad to work with you and help you find those resources that you need. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, hopefully we will get to see each other soon. Take care.